Mustafa Hulusi is a post-conceptual artist who's a Turkish Cypriot born in London. He constantly questions identity and our place in today's world. An exhibition of his latest work in Istanbul is meant to keep asking these questions and many others. Ceramics, paintings, neon, quite different mediums. But for artist Mustafa Halusi, the ideas are what's fundamental, no matter what material he uses. This exhibition is called Negative Ecstasy, and this is where the name came from. It's a, a phrase coined by French philosopher uh, Bataille, and a real short summary would be to say that you have to undergo some process of um, pain in order to uh, transform yourself and take yourself to somewhere where you can become more enlightened. But it's, it's a way of not just breaking rules, because I think breaking rules just means a transgression. It's not a transgression, it's a way of rewriting rules and rewriting your own rules to do whatever you want to do as a kind of emancipatory effort. And I think that's the role that he thought art could play as a kind of model to construct these rules. Halusi created the ceramic tile insulation called Ambient to cause disorientation, but at the same time he wanted it to be beautiful. So why did he choose tiles? They're a historic medium. They've been around for several thousands of years and every different culture in history has had a kind of art form using uh, the tile and I thought it would be a good time now to continue that and it's a very specific uh, material that's I'd say non-western for a start it, you know it begins in uh, Persia or Iran moves to China moves back then across to Europe it's a material that's nomadic uh, and it constantly shifts and that's something I think is very important for people to understand in terms of how to engage in the world today. Every, uh, different identities are formed. After seeing the exhibition at the Diramark Gallery in Istanbul, visitors can go home with a free newspaper showing photographs of rotten fruit Halusi found in a field in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. He wants to use this work, called Pomegranates, to draw attention to food waste. So there's not just a waste of natural resources, there's, a, there's this huge economy of waste in images that we have all these images around us, whether it's on your Facebook page or your Instagram or the billboard poster, you know, this kind of thing that drives this consumerism, this desire to stuff things, you know, in your mouth and just eat gluttonously and, you know, uh, I wanted to think about more, uh, make people aware of this being aware of the uh, image culture around uh, and how it affects you and defines you as a person. Mood Reel, a video installation, is his most recent work. Halusi finished it just a few weeks before this exhibition. It mixes South American films with geometric patterns that he uses in many of his artworks. Um, I think Mustafa's work at this moment in time is extremely important to show in a context like Turkey. I mean, he obviously has Turkish heritage, he's Cypriot Turkish and you know, he's been informing himself about the politics in Turkey and visiting here frequently for many years since I first got to know him back in 2003. And then his relationship with Cyprus and the way he talks about borders and nations and citizenship. So I think all of these discussions, especially at this moment when obviously massive problems in terms of refugee crisis, it's extremely important to show the work, but I think showing his work because it's so aesthetic, it, has, it doesn't come across as overtly political. So it can kind of enter a different discourse or a different, open itself to a different kind of audience. Halusi wants us to use his art to critically engage with the world. Visitors can take home a newspaper as well as plenty of ideas to think about at his exhibition, which runs until January the 8th.